turn now to Abuja, where Vice President Kashim Shatima has given a strong assurance that the administration of President Bola Tinubu will fulfill all promises it made to Nigerians and noted that the sacrifices made by citizens will not be in vain. The Vice President spoke at the 63rd Independence Public Lecture titled Actualizing the Vision of Renewed Hope for Social Economic Development through Effective Leadership. Tivison EU State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. This year's 63rd Independence Anniversary tagged Renewed Hope for Unity and Prosperity is the first that will be commemorated by the administration of President Bola Tinubu. It is also another opportunity for the federal government to remind Nigerians on efforts made towards raising the stakes of governance and improving livelihood. The Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, acknowledged the prevailing challenges, but is quick to point at the silver lining presented by the bold reforms and policies of President Tinubu's administration. The present administration also recognizes that the sacrifices made by each Nigerian will never be in vain. Such solidarity with our economic revival strategy, from the bustling streets of Lagos to the serene landscape of Inugu, has inspired our focus on diverse sectors, from agriculture to digital technology, from healthcare to education. Beyond the celebration of the 63rd independence anniversary, the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation as a coordinating point for, implementing, for implementation of policies and decisions of government that has made full arrangements to document and carry forward the critical outcomes of the symposium. The guest speaker at the commemoration of the 63rd Independence Anniversary recognized the steps taken by President Tinubu in critical areas that will enhance the implementation of the eight-point agenda contained in the Renewed Hope program. The election of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, despite all the odds on his path, must minister to us as a nation about the awesomeness and grace of God. As the president, he has praised before us his vision of renewed hope. The 63rd Independence Anniversary comes at a time when the removal of fuel subsidy has caused so much hardship for citizens and the economy of the country is threatened by organized labor's impending strike. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, wants the federal government to fast track the process of an increment in workers' salaries to mitigate the current hardship across the country. The issue of coming up with a living wage is the foundation of the corrupt free society. If a worker is paid well, he is paid enough to be able to afford his basic needs. It will help to eliminate corruption in a significant way. The federal government's message to Nigerians is to choose unity over chaos and democracy over anarchy. There's also an assurance that the sacrifices made by citizens are investments in a brighter future. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.